So today we are looking at Don't Wanna Know by Maroon 5 featuring Kendrick Lamar. This lesson will be based on my acoustic instrumental of the song, which is up on my channel now, so go check that out before the lesson. And just a quick reminder that if you ever get lost or stuck throughout the lesson, then expand the description box below for written explanation of each step. So let's do it. So for this track, there are three basic chords that we need to know, and these will be the same three chords that are played throughout the whole song. So the first chord is C major. which is 3rd fret A string, 2nd fret D string, open G string, 1st fret B string, and 3rd fret E string. The 2nd chord is D add 4, and we can get to this chord by just taking the C major shape and sliding up 2 frets, and we get D add 4. So that will be 5th fret A string, 4th fret D string, open G string, 3rd fret B string, and 5th fret E string. And the 3rd and final chord is E minor, which is 7th fret A string, 5th fret D string, open G string, open B string, and 7th fret E string. And they are all the chords that you need to know. So for this there's two sections that we need to cover. The first section will be the chorus, and the second section will be the verse. And now both sections use exactly the same chords and chord progression, but just with a slight variation to the picking pattern in each section. So starting with the chorus, I'll just play through the whole section nice and slow. So for this we're going to be starting on the C major and we're going to be using our thumb, our first, our second and our third fingers to pluck the chords. So we're going to start by plucking the A, D, G and B strings all together once. And then we're going to pluck the high E string once with the third finger. And then we're going to slap the strings. And then again we're going to pluck the A, D, G and B strings all together. And then we're going to pluck the A string once with the thumb. And then we're going to slap the strings. So again, it's A, D, G, B. High E. Slap. A, D, G, B. A string. Slap. After this, we're going to slide up to the D add 4 and we're going to do exactly the same picking pattern. So A, D, G, B, high E, slap, A, D, G, B, A string once, and then a slap. So those two together. And then finally we're going to move up to the E minor, and we're going to do exactly the same picking pattern, but twice. So A, D, G, B, high E once, slap, A, D, G, B, A string once, and then a slap, and then we're going to do that again. So A, D, G, B, high E, slap, A, D, G, B, A string, and then a slap. and that will be the whole of the chorus. So if I just play through the whole section nice and slow. And now a bit more up to speed. And that is the chord progression and picking pattern that I use for the chorus. So next we have the verse. And this is going to be very, very similar to the chorus, but just with a slight variation to the picking pattern. 
So I'll play through the whole section nice and slow. So for this we're going to be starting on the C major and we're going to start by plucking the A, D, G and B strings all together once and then we're just going to pluck the D, G and B strings all together once and then we're going to slap the strings and then we're going to pluck the A, D, G and B strings all together once again and then we're going to pluck the A string once with the thumb and then we're going to slap the strings. So A, D, G, B, D, G, B, slap, A, D, G, B, A, and then a slap. After this, we're going to slide up to the D add 4 and do exactly the same. So A, D, G, B, D, G, B, slap, A, D, G, B, A, and then a slap. So those two together. And then finally we're going to move up to the E minor and we're going to do exactly the same picking pattern but twice. So A, D, G, B, D, G, B, slap, A, D, G, B, A string once, then a slap. And then we're going to do that again. So A, D, G, B, D, G, B, slap, A, D, G, B, A string and then a slap. So, and that will be the whole of the verse. So if I just play through the whole section nice and slow. And now a bit more up to speed. And that is the chord progression and picking pattern that I use for the verse. And that is all you need to know for this track, so I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Remember to hit the subscribe button below to keep up to date with all my latest acoustic instrumentals and guitar tutorials, and I'll see you all on the next one.